Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel, I'm 22, I live on Long Island. Whew, I'm out of breath, that was heavy. Anyway, today is Saturday. I am getting ready for a day at the office. I'm only working like a half day, so I just have comfy clothes on. I just have this big t-shirt on from Misguided, I think. And I'm just wearing this black sports bra from Amazon because I'm going to the gym after. My Nike Pro leggings, and then just my Adidas Ultra Boost. Um, my bag is full because I might try to do some YouTube stuff if I have extra time at the office. But I just have my laptop, my notebook, my planner, all my extra stuff. I work for a builder. Our office is very, very busy. We have a couple furniture deliveries going on today that I have to keep track of. So, and I have to make a to-do list because me and Aiden are hosting a barbecue tonight. So after the gym, we have to run by the grocery store and get a few extra things for that. Then from there, we will come home and cook and get everything ready. But I will catch up with you guys in the car. Okay guys, so I'm in the car. Normally I have my car trap on, but I don't have time to set it up right now. I'm running late. It is 9.05. I'm supposed to be at the office already. Anyway, it's 9.05. It is already 81 degrees out. It is hot in New York today, so. I have to make sure like we have enough ice and stuff at the house, but <clears throat> yeah, we are huh, not supposed to vlog and drive, so I will, I'm going to try to vlog a little bit at the office if my bosses aren't there. Um, you won't see anything, like you won't see like what company I work for or anything, but um, yeah, I will catch up with you guys at the office. Hey guys, so I just got in my car, I'm still at my office, but I'm getting ready to leave. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff done today, so I'm gonna go home and meet Aiden, and then we are going to go to the grocery store, get what we need for our barbecue, and then go from there. Hey guys, so I am home from work. Uh, me and Aiden got a little bit done so far. We cleaned off the deck. Um, Aiden sweeped the deck. I did the table. We have the umbrella up. We're just kind of getting things together, but I want to show you guys. We just got a package in the mail. Aiden's right out of camera view, so I'm looking that way. So, I ordered this, when did I order this? Like two weeks ago? Something like that. I'm very excited for this. It's our get rich quick scheme. It's our get rich quick scheme. Not really, but. Um, so I got the David Dobrik, I think it's David Dobrik. I don't know. The one million dollar puzzle. I don't even know how many pieces this thing is. It just says, Oh, 500 pieces, babe. Complete this puzzle, scan your QR code, and you can either win or win. So is the puzzle a QR code? Yes. Could be a quarter, could, could be, be a million. million. Aiden went to the dump this morning, and our house is all like clean garbage and stuff, and he just added a new one to the pile. What's in there? I think it's a bird. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bird. Contains special instructions for you to redeem your prize money. Your secret? Do we not even have to do the puzzle? No, we do. We do. Oh. It's like a gradient, like a rainbow gradient. So we are gonna vacuum, finish up some dishes, and then we gotta go grocery shopping. What else are you gonna get? I don't know, but we got six pounds of chopped beef. Six pounds beef. of ground beef. Aiden's gonna make some burgers. Look at it, big old chunky boy. <laughs> Ew, you're sweaty. I Ew. Know. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Nasty. And all I've done is the deck. We both still have That's to shower. It. I know. And we have to go to the store. You have to vacuum upstairs. Oh, I have to fuck. vacuum downstairs. While I'm vacuuming, can you do a quick wipe down of the mantle? I mean, the that thing. I'm going to put you guys here. I'm going to throw it on a quick time lapse while we clean. Go to the grocery store now. You saw like a bunch of timeless videos. I'm sweating. My face. Is that warm? Oh. So we're going to the grocery store to get a couple last minute things. We have chopped meat to do burgers. 
We're gonna get chicken, chicken, some macaroni salad, potato salad. I'm gonna make some asparagus. Hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni, chilling with my homies. Anybody want him? He's for sale. Chicken wings, chicken wings. I'll sell him. Yeah, for some chicken wings. <laughs> no. I'd sell myself for some chicken wings. I'll sell him for a hundred dollars. Hey, I'm at worth. I'm at least worth two fifty. No. Three fifty. Hundred. Three fifty. Hundred. Okay, so we will do a grocery haul when we get home. Hey guys, it is three o'clock. We just got home from the grocery store. I'll be honest with you, I am extremely cranky and moody and tired and hot right now. So, yeah. We will show you guys what we got at the grocery store to make tonight. First, I got a bun pan for some angel food cake. Bang. Mm, I love you. I love you Aiden picked out some pretty flowers. Oh, look at this smile. Look at your face. Oh, you're filming. Yeah. Oh. Look at your face. This is red. We got some Tostitos restaurant style chips because we have some dips and salsa and stuff. Aiden got four things of barbecue sauce because we're going to do some barbecue chicken. Got some grape juice as a mixer. Do you want to show what you, what's in your hands? I got arguably the best thing Drake has ever made, including the wrapper. You're so stupid. Cherry fruit pies, close to my heart. And then I got some, uh, some very German name potato salad because, you know, Germans make good potato salads. Um, we also got a lemon meringue pie for dessert. It's Aiden's favorite thing that we this got. Right here. That black Angus beef. Ooh, the top round sirloins. And we got Ooh. a whole big thing of chicken. And we got the Bud Light Seltzer Retro Summer Pack. I got a green juice too and Aiden just drank it. Um, that Bud Light Seltzer Pack is really, really good. And then we also got Bread. buns for burgers. Do you want to put those away? Um, some Cheerios, because Aiden needs more Cheerios. <laughs> um, I got this little pack of um, peach slices. We got a thing of mayo, some pickles for the burger, some teriyaki sauce, and garlic salt. And then the last couple things, we got asparagus because I always do um, asparagus in the oven. And then we got some chocolate whoopie pies because these are really good. And then Last for drink, we just got the Twisted Tea Party Pack. So we're gonna put stuff away and kind of organize a little bit. I love whoopie pies. So if you don't know what a whoopie pie is, it's literally just like chocolate cake rounds, I guess, with frosting in the middle. Oh, wow. Babe, you should try this, really good. Oh, aren't they so good? Mm -hmm. I've had red velvet ones before that are really good too. The only problem is like, you can see on my fingers, it's, they're oily, but they're delicious. Well, first you get your teriyaki sauce. Doesn't matter what teriyaki sauce, but we use kikoma. Sounds about right. You know, the traditional in every single uh, store teriyaki mm -hmm. sauce. And then you, uh, you get pineapple juice. It sounds very weird. And you just get a little bit of pineapple juice. I don't know how to focus. Oh, there it goes. You get Thank some you. pineapple juice. It didn't that focus really nice? Did you see how clear it was? And you add the pineapple juice to when you're cooking red meat because the proteins in the pineapple juice break down the tougher muscle structures inside. So it makes the meat more tender without spending a lot of money on getting ragu and stuff. Ooh, it smells so good. All right. And then you get your McCormick. Garlic salt, remember guys, if it's not McCormick, it's probably not real. It's probably not real. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There it is. If it's not McCormick, it ain't real. Right, here's the best part about it. Pepper and wishes here on one side. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, garlic salt. Oh, that's nice. Should I do both the same way or one dry rub, one wet rub? Do both the same. All right, everybody. This is the most important part. You grab the meat. Make sure you wash your hands first. I did that. Take it, 
and then you put it in the bag. You try to get the meat to be flat in the bag. Take the other one, and you do the same thing right behind it. Now that we have the meat in the bag, so you take it, and you add the pineapple juice. You take your garlic salt. There's really no real measurement, but you know, Rachel loves sodium. I have salt problem. And garlic. Everybody knows I have salt problem, right? Put a little olive oil in there. Just to get it to stick better to the meat. Everybody knows black pepper make your heart happy. I've never heard that. Oh my god. And then here is arguably the most important part. And teriyaki gives you a lot of flavor. What I'm doing, I don't advise anybody else do, is to take the safety top off of the teriyaki sauce. But, uh, it's easier. I'm a man of very little patience. That's a lot of teriyaki. Two pieces of meat in there. So we're not putting this on the grill till probably like 6, 6.30. So that's gonna sit. Um, the chicken is gonna take longer, we looked. So the chicken, we're going to start making it at like five. It's going to take probably about an hour to an hour and a half. So that's definitely, we'll have to time it right. And an important part that nobody tells you is make sure you take all the air out of the bag. And that's very important for the marinade. So the juices only have one place to go. But you also have to squeeze it a little bit because when you put the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients together, it will clump up. So you got to mix it around the meat. You got to make sure everything it's all mixed up so you don't have one piece of meat that is super oniony and salty and pepperony. The word, I looked it up in the Webster dictionary. And then, just like that. It's the money shot. Ooh. So how long is that gonna go in the fridge for? About... It's 3.15. About 3.5 hours. Now that he's done with that, that's gonna go in the fridge. So I am just gonna prep our flowers. I just have this that's in the worst spot. I don't know, vase, vase? I call it a vase, but. Okay. Oh my God, I know where this is going So, we had this conversation a couple weeks ago. What was it, last weekend, two weekends ago? Last weekend. Anyway, the word C-R-A-Y-O-N-S. You write with them when you're in like kindergarten. I wanna know, down below, tell me how you guys say that word. I grew up always saying crayons. And Aiden says. It's crayons. It's not crayons. He pronounces the Y and I don't. Yeah, but you get rid of the Y. You add like a crayons, like an A. Crayon, C-R-A-N. That's what it sounds like, crayons. No, I get rid of the Y and the O. Crayons. C-R-A-N-S. Maybe it's your fault that um like text to talk like LOL stuff like that like, you just get rid of letters. It's your fault. You do. Not my fault. So I'm just gonna fill the water up to like here and then add the flower food. Just gonna chop off the top. It's literally just like white and powdery, I guess, and just pour that in. I'm just gonna cut like a good portion of the stem off my flowers. So this is what our beautiful bouquet looks like. I think I'm gonna put it on the table outside, mm -hmm. right? Okay guys, let's take a walk outside. So we have a lake across the street. I just wanna show you guys, I kinda wanna do 
a little setup. Okay guys, so we have the big umbrella that I just opened and we just have a glass table. Aiden's got the chairs over here. So we just have to put the six chairs back and we just put the flowers out. I want to, I think I'm gonna put them here. I need to get like utensils and stuff together probably around five um, just so I can do like place settings and everything. 